let's have a look at creating a sub report a sub report is basically a report within a report if you've already looked at the video on forms and sub forms you'll find this fairly straightforward there's two ways of doing this one is using the wizard and one is manually so we'll look at the wizard version first let's start the wizard and choose the table that we want to base um, the report on and that's the main table in this instance the vehicles table and then you choose the fields that you want to work with and then before going on to the next part of the wizard we choose some fields from another related table it has to be a related table in this instance the repairs table which details the repairs that have been done to a specific car I'm going to add the mechanic and date of repair so we've got fields from two different linked tables we'll carry on through the wizard and the next question says how do you want to view the data usually picks up the right system in this instance the car details at the top and then the mechanic and date of repair details underneath always check your options though make sure that you've got the right one selected carrying on through the wizard we can add groupings if we want to but I don't want to for this I want to keep things nice and clear for you you can do any sorting the normal things that you can do in a wizard choosing all your design options and finally a sensible name access and creates the report for you and this is how it's laid it out we've got the information from the vehicles table registration number model and manufacturer but then at the right hand side we've got the related table sorry the related records from the related table that's the name of the mechanic and the date of the repair let's have a look at that in design view and it's created that simply by using groupings so you could put those fields in manually yourself from a different related table but if you're doing it manually there's a better way of working than that so that was using just delete that table report so that was using the wizard where we chose the base table first and our fields and then we chose the related table and then we just progressed through the wizard this time I'm not going to choose fields from the related table I'm going to leave it as a base table quickly go through the wizard to have a very standard looking report do this manually to add the related sub reporting manually we're going to switch to design view and use the control toolbox on the control toolbox oops, we have a sub form or sub report icon now I'm just going to create a little bit of space down here for myself in the details section and I'm then going to draw a sub report control making sure the wizard is on in the area that I've created pops up with the wizard and just asks us a few basic questions where is the data that we want to use for this sub report the data is in an existing table we might have already created a report or form and we can use those but if we haven't we leave it as tables and queries The next question asks us which fields we want to use from which table so I'm choosing the related table which was repairs choosing which fields I want from that table 
and then progressing through the wizard it asks us to define the link now the link is usually picked up automatically let's go to show repairs for each record in the vehicles table using the registration number as the link between the two tables if that isn't correct you can define your own sensible name and finish and it's created this sub report control let's see what that looks like in print preview and you can see now for every record in the vehicles table we've got the associated records in the repairs table now that looks a little bit messy but you can see the effect so let's see if we can tidy that up a little bit by switching back to design view for a start the repairs sub report label let's have a look at its properties we could change the caption to make it easier to read or in this particular instance I don't want to show it at all so I can switch the caption off by making it not visible now that has the effect of the label still being there in design view so you know what's what but when you switch to print preview that label has disappeared making things look a lot easier on the eye So that is creating a sub report manually by using the toolbox to draw a sub report control where we make sure that the control wizard is on. We select the sub report, click and drag in the detail section, and then just follow the wizard through. But remember, this has to be on linked tables.